Uh, hello. Um, this is my first tutorial ever um, making a weighted companion cube from the Portal series. Um, it's actually a very easy thing to make. Anyone from beginner to intermediate could make this thing really quickly. I could, I can actually make this thing in the model, rendering, lighting, everything in about 15 minutes. Uh, but I'm not going to do it that quick because it's a tutorial. It's not a who can make this the fastest. So, well, without further ado, go ahead and open up Maya. Um, go ahead and click on File, Project, New. Um, you're going to obviously make a new project folder, title it whatever you want, Companion Cube, Cube with a Heart, OMG, This Cube Rocks, whatever. Um, go ahead and use the defaults uh, or to you know fill up all these. Uh, click accept, and there you'll have your project. Um, I already have the project opened up and whatever, so I'm not worried about making it now. So let's uh, look at some reference material really quick. Uh, if you go to Bing, because I personally like it, because I personally feel they have better images than Google. Um, do a search for weighted companion cube heart. Now, um, I didn't grab any of these and put them in my sources images folder just because I've looked all over and I cannot find any uh, good portal images of this cube that is you know directly off the side. So I just went with uh, this one and you know you can just look at it and see okay it's a cube that's been you know deformed another cube another cube on top of one two three four eight cubes and you can see that there's color under between these so you know there's probably another cube right underneath there um so it's just you know a bunch of cubes on top of each other and that's exactly what i made um what you will want to get is if you go ahead and type that in, scroll down about just past halfway, you'll see this picture right here. It'll say the Deathmatch Diaries on it, so you know you're looking at the right thing. Go ahead and click that, click see uh, full size, right click and save this image. The reason for this is I've looked all over and this is to me the best heart that looks like the heart that would go on the companion cube. So we'll be using that for Photoshop later on. So let's get out of there and let's start with the uh, modeling. Go ahead and open Maya back up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create Polygon Cube. If you look here, my cubes are set up at the default 111111 on Y. So I'm going to go ahead and create. Uh, hit 5 on each to make them all shaded. And as well, go ahead and click on uh, wireframe on shaded as well. So, uh, you know, help us out later on. Now, go into perspective view. With the cube highlighted, click on the cube inputs. Hi uh, left click, drag on all three of these spots for width, height, and depth. Plug in 10. Hit enter on the keyboard, not on the numpad. And obviously, your cube will grow. Uh, just add water. Uh, go ahead and highlight the subdivisions. Click 4. So it'll give us an idea of what the quadrants are and where we want to put uh, the cubes from here on out. Now this initial cube right here is going to be that main center one that was the you know off color. In the reference picture we saw it was light blue. This one it's going to be pink eventually. But we'll get to that when we do get to the hyper shade. So let's go ahead and create another cube. Um, you can't see it, obviously, because it's smaller and inside this one. If you hit W for the move tool, you'll see it's in there. So what you're going to want to do is click on the input for it, highlight all three of these again, and instead of 10, put 2. Translate all three of those to 2.6. This will take it right out to this front top right quadrant here. Now you'll see it's not sticking out yet because it's not the right size. Let's change that. Highlight left click on the scale 
and go ahead and put in a 2.522. Why that? I couldn't honestly tell you. I think I was goofing around and that actually turned out to be just right. So go ahead and hit enter and there it is. If you look at all the views, you'll see it leaves just enough gap when we add other squares that there'll be just enough gap for that color to bleed out of. Um, all right, let's move on. With that square still or with that cube still highlighted, go ahead and control D to duplicate and go ahead and translate all those to 3.6, which will take it just out of where it is. This will be that far corner beveled one. And since I say bevel, let's go ahead and get that done. Click on Edit Mesh, go to Bevel, and wow, look what it does. Well, let's change that. If you click on Offset, do that to 0 0.2, and it'll give it a nice little, you know, beveled surface there. If you look at the reference image at the very top, the one we're looking at originally, you'll see all those corn, all those edges are beveled. That's a little triangle one right at the corner and that's exactly what we got here uh, so next go ahead and hit another cube that's you know obviously going to be in the center again now this time just highlight Y and Z put in 5 which will bring it right up here now we need to scale this out but only in one direction so go ahead and hit R, grab the little manipulator here, scroll it out. You want to get it to right around just under 1.9. So, you know, we can go with, yeah, you know, 1.888. You don't want those two touching. You want it close, but you don't want it really close. Maybe the same kind of gap that you'd get between two of these squares, but whatever. Now go ahead and right click, hit edge click on this front upper edge right here just this one go to edit mesh bevel now go to offset again now this time instead of 0 0.2 go to 0 0.3 which will leave it as a nice little you know beveled surface right there to look nice now do we need to keep doing this on all corners no thank god for duplicate special now with that one highlighted or with that highlighted, that highlighted, hold shift, highlight all three of those, hit control G. Now you'll see with the manipulator in the middle there, it centers it right in the middle of all three objects. That's not what we want. Hit space and go into the front view. Hit insert so we can move that manipulator uh, pivot point. Hold X, bring it to the center line here, and bring it all the way down to dead center. Hit input again, so it goes out of that. Now from here, this is where we're going to go ahead and go duplicate special. Hit edit, and go to the options box. Now make sure it's on copy, parent, zero, all the way for translate. Rotate, we want X, Y, Z for 90 degrees. We want three copies. Go ahead and duplicate special. There they are. Now with the ones that we just copied, they're already going to be highlighted. Hold shift, click these three, control G again. Now this time hit space and go into the side view. Again, hit input, hold X, bring it straight to the center. Hit input again to get out of that. Hit control D to duplicate. Now instead of doing the duplicate special again, this is actually pretty simple right here. We're going to be going scaling on the Z axis you'll see it says one right here. Now if we just go ahead and plug in a negative one, hit enter on the keyboard, there it goes. It By moving the manipulator to the center here, it's kind of like a mirror. So you can see, just go ahead and put that right there, which is very good. Uh, next you'll notice we're missing a top, bottom, top, bottom on both sides here. So easiest way to do that go ahead and click the front and back here front and back here hit control G again and that'll group them and put the manipulator right in the center which is exactly what we want at this point go ahead and hit control D to duplicate 
and hit E for the rotation tool. Rotate it a little bit, you'll see you're rotating on X on the negative. You'll see where you want it to be is more or less negative 90. So go ahead and plug that in. And all spots have been filled. Uh, we're going to leave the tutorial right there for now. Um, catch the next part and we'll continue with how to make your weighted companion cube.